Hi, I'm Katie from Barn2 Media and I'm going to show you how to create a list of posts from your website automatically based on their category or their tag or any other data. It's a really good way of listing content from your website automatically um, in different parts and different locations around your site and it saves you having to list things manually because of course if the data is already stored on your website then you should be able to list it automatically and not have to write lists. I'm going to show you how to do it on our actual website because at the moment each of our WordPress plugins has a list of tutorials that we've published about how to use the plugin. So for our Post Table Pro plugin tutorials, I've just manually listed them in a bullet list and that's pretty basic as you can see, it doesn't have much useful information to make people want to read the tutorial and also I have to do it manually, add something to the list every time I publish a tutorial, so that's not very good. Instead, we're going to use our Post Table Pro plugin, which you can get from our website barn2.co.uk to automatically list the tutorials. Um, the key thing is, I'm not just going to list all the content from my site in a table, I'm going to use Post Table Pro to display specific tutorials based on the fact that they're tutorials and also the category that they're in. And there's loads of different ways that you can tailor your list of content. And the other great thing is that you can use this method for any type of content on your WordPress website. It could be normal blog posts which are in the post section of the WordPress admin. It could be pages or it could be anything else um, like a custom post type, um, literally any custom post type you can list in this way. So let's do it. We're going to replace this list with a table that's created dynamically. So I'm going to edit my article which, in which I've listed the tutorials. So I'm just going to the edit screen now. And then you put your cursor wherever you want to add the table. And so to do this, you have to have already installed the Post Table Pro plugin and activated your license key. And then you can go and do this. So I'm going to open square brackets and go posts underscore table. And that tells the Post Table Pro plugin to list all of my blog, blog posts. That's not what I want. I just want to list posts from a specific category relating to the Post Table Pro plugin. So to do that, you write category equals, and I'm going to go PTP slash articles. That is the slug or the, um, the end bit of the permalink for my category. And you can also add a category ID if you prefer to work with IDs. In addition to that, I have loads of blog posts about Post Table Pro, Inc., such as news of new releases and new features we've added and stuff like that. And I only want to list Post Table Pro tutorials uh, on this page because that's what it's about. So fortunately, I've created a tag for tutorials. So if I write tag equals and then within quotation marks tutorials, that is going to tell the plugin to display all posts from the category PTP article with an S um, and the tag tutorials so they will work together and just as an aside if you wanted to display a different post type then you would write post underscore type equals and then if it was page or if it was a custom post type it might be documents if you had a document library or something like that so if you wanted to display a different post type that are not normal blog posts like this uh, then you could do that's how you do it but I actually want to display normal blog posts because that's where I store the tutorials so that's what I'm going to do here and uh, let's tell the plugin which columns of information to display now, there are loads of different column options that come with the Post Table Pro plugin. So use the knowledge base to plan your columns. Um, there's two ways to set your columns. There's the plugin settings page, which you can go to under settings and then Post Table Pro. So there's a field there for choosing your columns and some of the other options. Uh, but I'm gonna do it directly in the short code to keep everything all in one place. So let's go columns. I want to display an image column, which will be the featured image for each post, a title column. I want to display the tags, 
and let's say a date. There's loads of different column options. So you can also show the post content, for example, and things like that. Um, so that's, let's close our short code. And now I'm going to preview the page and show you what it looks like. So here we have the same page I showed you before, but now we have a table automatically pulling through all of the Post Table Pro tutorials. Now, just looking at that, yep, that is correct. So it's got all of my Post Table Pro articles about various different ways in which you can use the plugin. And it's got the tags um, in a tag column. Now there's several ways that you can filter to quickly find topics you want. So let's say I wanted to read all tutorials about events. Well, I can click on events and it's immediately filtered the table for events. And you can view the rest by going reset. I'm gonna show you a second way that people can filter the table, which is that I'm going to replace this show X entries with a filter drop down where people can filter by tag. And I think that's gonna be really handy because more people are going to want to do that than to click on these links where it's not as clear what to do. So let's go back to our short, short code and we're gonna write filters equals. Now there's two ways to do the filters. You can write filters equal to true, which will automatically show all filters, all all filters for the columns in your table. In my case, it will only show filters for tags because image, title, and dates are not filterable. They're not the sorts of content that Post Table Pro displays in a filter. So adding filters equal to true will show tags in the filter. You can also specify exact filters you want. So if I want to show filters for categories and tags, then I could do. I mean, there's no point me showing a categories filter because I'm only showing one category anyway, so I'm just gonna have tags. So let's preview again and show you how it looks next. So here you can see I have a filter for tags, so I can easily choose anything from the filters and it instantly refreshes the list. It's looking a little bit messy now though, so I'm just gonna show you how to hide this. One way to hide any elements you don't want is just to go to the Post Table Pro plugin settings page, which again is settings, Post Table Pro, or all the options are also editable directly in the short code. And I'm going to go page underscore length, I can't spell it right, equals, and then I'm going to write false. And then I will preview the page again to show you how that changes. Right, so here you can see we've still got the filter and all the other useful bits about navigating the table, but we've removed the option to choose how many rows appear in the table, which just looks a bit tidier. And if you don't want any of these controls, you can hide them all on the plugin settings page. So now there's three ways, to, probably four ways to navigate the table. People can choose a filter, they can type into the search box, they can also click on these to sort, um, so you can sort by any sortable column, um, not image because you wouldn't sort by that, but the others you can sort. And you can also click on any of the tags or in the table. The way I've used tags here, you can equally do for categories and also any custom taxonomy. So if you want to provide multiple ways for people to filter, then that's fine too. I've just used some of the more common options. Now, as you can see, I've still got my original content at the bottom and we don't need that anymore, which is lovely. So what I'm gonna do finally is remove my list because I don't need to manually add content anymore. So whenever I publish a tutorial, it will automatically appear on my page, which is exactly what I'm looking to do. So let's view the finished page. So this is a page listing all the tutorials for Post Table Pro and it's the table that we've created. As I get to more than 25 items, pagination links will appear at the bottom so that you can scroll through longer lists of articles. So it's not a problem as you get more and more content. And that's it. Um, my next job is to do this for all of our plugins so that I don't have to create any lists manually. And you can go away and do the same on your website. You can get the Post Table Pro plugin, which lets you do this uh, from our website, barn2.co.uk. 
and you can use it to display any types of content basically with any columns and filters and things that you want. So I hope that's useful to you. Uh, the plugin comes with full support from us at Bantu Media, so get in touch if you need any help listing your posts in different ways. And I hope this is useful to you. Thanks for watching.